Hello and welcome to my channel Mail Smartly. And in this tutorial, I will guide you through performing a mail merge with personalized attachments. We will begin by using a Microsoft Excel file, connect it to Microsoft Word, and then send the email out through Outlook to each individual on your list. I will walk you through the entire process step by step. So let's jump on it. So here is the scenario. So I am running a school and I want to send email to these 11 parents of their outstanding fee payment of their ward. So I have created a separate file and every file consists of the details of the ward, the outstanding amount and other necessary information. And here is the common catalog I need to share with all those payments. This catalog consists of the upcoming events of the school. And this is the Excel file I have created, which consists of all the important information and details which required while creating an email. So you can very well check out the name of the ward, the surname, the email address. Here you can see I have added the email address of myself to every person just to show you how this mail merge function work. I have also added the class, the section. So this is the path of the PDF file I have added in this folder. You can also use direct word file or any other file type and paste the path over here. So how I have done it, simply click on this PDF file, click right mouse button and you will see an option which is copy as path. Simply copy and here you can paste it by control V. That way you can see your file path is pasted over here. I have also added the due date of the fee payment. I have added the account number of the ward which is connected in the school and this is the outstanding amount towards the ward. So here is the initial inputs I required for creating the mail merge. So before starting this video, I also want to share that in Microsoft Outlook, you cannot create a mail merge directly. You need a specific tool to create a mail merge using Microsoft Word, Excel. You will check out this website, mergetoolsaddin.com. I, I will also add this URL in my description section. Here you will very easily download a free tool which is available for mail merge. Simply click on this download button and this file is downloaded in seconds. Simply go to your folder. So my file is downloaded over here, downloads. Here is my file. The file is in zip format. You have to simply click right mouse button and you have to extract all. Your file is extracted. Once your file is extracted, you will see few folders over here. Some are the PDFs and one is this file merge tool. This is the file I am talking about in this mail merge add-in. So first you have to add this file into your Microsoft Word, which can help you to create a mail merge email. So first open our Microsoft Word. Now here click on the file tab. Now go to more, click options. Now here you have to click on advanced from the left navigation section. Now from this drop down, you have to scroll up to the bottom here. You will see in general, there is an option file location. Click on it and you will see this option startup. So here is the location where you need to add that merge tool file, which I have just downloaded into this startup. So you can simply double click on it or you can simply click on modify and you will see this folder is entirely blank. I go to my downloads. I simply copy it. Now here I need to paste it. Now my file is pasted, but still you can't check this out. So simply go to the path, copy this path of the folder, close everything. Now again, go to your folder. Now simply paste your path over here. Now you will see that merge tool is pasted in the startup folder. Now close this. Now close Microsoft Word as well. Now again, open your Word file, click on blank document 
and now you will see and another tab which is merge tool is added in your Microsoft Word. This will help you to merge all your emails and send a, a attachment along with the mail. Now first I will go to this mailing. Now first I need to draft an email. So I have already created a draft for you. First I will show you dear Mr. Parents last name. This is the area where I need to change the name of the parent whenever I send this email to every parent the name of that parent will automatically change the ward full name class section account number due date so here are few information which I need to change for every student so what first I need to do is to click on mailing click on start mail merge now I am creating an email so I simply need to click on this email message now the next point is I need to select the recipient. So there is an option when I click on this drop down, you will see three options. Type a new list, use an existing list and choose from your Outlook contacts. So I already created an Excel file which I have shown you here. So I need to sync this file into Microsoft Word to connect all the data into this email draft. Simply click on use an existing list. Now I need to select that file. So I simply go to my desktop and I have created the folder merge date, merge data. And here is my file. Simply double click on it and you will see your file is sync with this Microsoft Word. Now what you have to do first parent last name. I need to change it. Now there is an option insert merge field. When I click on the drop down ward name, surname, email, class, section, attachment, path, due date, account number and amount. All the headers are visible over here. So what I need to do is to add the name of the parent. So I simply select this surname. Now ward full name. Again select this. Click on insert merge field. Click on ward name. This way all the bold letter with this information. So I'm speeding up. Now everything is perfect. Now to cross check it, you can simply preview the results. Simply click on this preview and you will see dear Mr. Smith, what name is Ethan class fifth section A. The roll number is also visible here, the due date and the amount. Now you can change it by clicking on this forward next record. See, everything is changing according to the information I have entered in the Excel sheet. Now everything is set. Now let's move over to merge tool. This merge tool I have already added as a tool recently. So click on it. Now here is an option merge with attachment. Click on it and you will see all the description over here what this section do for you. Please save the mail merge main document before proceeding. So I need to simply click here to save this document first. So I click on save as and again I need to select the same folder I have created earlier. Now click on merge with attachments. Now you will see this dialog box. Now this section is only talk about the attachment. So here this section I have to add the individual file I need to send to individual parent. So I have already created this attachment path. That means this attachment path consists of individual file for the individual parent. So simply click on add. Now here this section is designed to add a specific attachment that a common attachment will be sent to every email member or every parent I will send the email to. So simply click on this browse for attachment. Now again I need to go to the folder. So this is my folder merge data. This is my common PDF which is school catalog. Simply click on it. Now click on this merge destination merge to email message. Now that will open few additional information over here. Now select the field contain the email address. I need to first add the email address. So here is the 
email address C emails so that will send to individual person over here select the field containing the CC address or BCC address in case you need to add the CC or BCC you will need to first add the CC and BCC email address in the Excel file then you can very easily select the CC from here and BCC from here now send using account so I have multiple email accounts so I select this one I need to send the email from my this email address now send on behalf of you can leave or type manually in case you are sending on behalf of somebody reply to address leave as it is now these are few options request delivery receipt if you need a delivery receipt back to your email you can select this checkbox request read receipt in case your parent read the message and you want a confirmation then you need to check this box now data source containing the subject field now here text before subject field so I need to type the subject request regarding fee amount now I need to select the amount so I simply select here and add the amount on urgent basis so here is the subject request regarding fee amount the amount is here on urgent basis now these are three options once again send now defer sending or save to draft merge tool folder so I simply click on this send now and hit continue and you will see merge record you need to send all or you need to send some specific one from 1 to 11 or you want to send you can change directly from here but I need to send all of them so simply select all and hit ok now you will see this is the message simply showing you that you can use this trial version only 20 times in case you want to use this option more than 20 times you need to pay some amount to the tool owner simply click here to close the message and you will see in few seconds your mail is sent to all your recipient now I will show you in my outlook now it's done now I will open my outlook now first I will show you the email address from where I have generated the mail go to the send items and you will see all the emails see the subject line the amount is already changed in every subject and all the emails are sent now I will click on the main email where I have received all the emails so here is my email address I click on inbox and you will see all the emails along with attachments now I will show you this email consists of the subject you will see request regarding fee amount 101 on urgent basis now here the subject dear Mr. Taylor the name of the ward class section roll number due date and amount everything is perfect now in both the attachments this is the sixth attachment for directly linked to this ward and the school catalog so that way you can very easily create email and use this mail merge feature to create number of emails and send in just a click and you can also use the attachment along with all the emails and you can also use CC or BCC option to send the email in this option. So if you have learned something new from this video, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel and please don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers videos I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.